Welcome to Norsonic. Noise Compass and NorCloud quickly and accurately provide the noise value caused by a particular sector. Let's see how easy and quick it is to set up and configure Noise Compass and NorCloud. On the one hand, we have the cabinet with the sound analyzer inside. On the other hand, we have the Noise Compass to calculate the direction of the sound and the outdoor microphone to calculate the sound levels. In the field, Noise Compass placement is as simple as setting the Noise Compass north pointing north. The Noise Compass is so quick to assemble that it can be used in projects where short-term installations are required. With the assembly of the equipment and their connection to the cabinet, we have the equipment ready to configure the system from NorCloud. When entering NorCloud, the screen is divided in four parts. In Zone 1, we will always have our help menu and the location where we are. In the left-hand side area 2, we have the menu to edit any aspect of a user or project. Section 3 refers to the active sensors in the project. And finally, the main section where we visualize the fields to edit by selecting the results, map and reports. With NorCloud, we can select who will be the users of all our projects or specific projects. Following this, we customize the project to our needs in terms of resolution and storage of our measurements. This data is applied to the instrument. We can then add our sensor or as many sensors as we wish to our project. For the sound setup, we have at the upper part the timing or also called time profile. Here we can configure our main profile with a resolution from 100 milliseconds to be applied in the instrument and other profiles to be applied in the data processing. Profile B is useful for observing more general results, and we also have the profile moving. This profile offers an interesting sliding calculation window with the resolution selected in profile A, and the length of the window is chosen. According to the previous explanation, with our simple addition without more filters or triggers that we will see later, we can see the result of each one of the profiles. Multiply the options for simpler or more variant analysis depending on the user's needs. In the filter section, we choose between octave band or octave thirds, as well as the frequency range. We can even make measurements that include ultrasound range using the Norsonic ultrasound microphone for our NOR145. Regarding the audio recording, the Norsonic equipment can record elements that exceed a certain threshold. For this purpose, there is a pre-trigger where we can select to record up to previous 120 seconds. We can also choose the quality of the recorded audio as well as the gain we want to apply to the recording independently of the measurement. At the bottom of the sound setup, we have functions, where we can choose the type of measurement and weighting that the instrument will measure. The possibilities and combinations are so many that they can be adapted to the needs of each project or to the changes that occur during the course of the project with just one click. The noise compass trigger is much more than just reporting events with a threshold. In the trigger, we can select the functions we are interested in within the selected levels, times, sensors and duration so that the events are recorded, photos are taken and even taken into account in our partial level result obtained in the noise compass. Now we are going to edit the data view in the way that best suits our needs. We can choose between sensors, functions and events in one or several graphical windows. The icing on the cake is that all this information is updated in an instantly in post-processing. So depending on the needs of the moment, we can update the results we want to analyze. From our smartphone, we can control the live measurement process in the field and edit any aspect of the process. Our equipment is ready and the noise compass already identifies everything that is happening around it. At any time during post-processing, we can show off the features that make the information obtained from the noise compass unique. Finally, we are ready to choose our sectors and calculate the partial noise level from a particular sector or eliminate the noise caused by a particular sector. With the sensors covering all possible angles horizontally and vertically and the complete information located in NorCloud, we can calculate and recalculate the past values of the partial level of a sector at any time during post-processing. In the following video, we will see in depth the addition and calculation of the partial noise values as well as the instantaneous generation of complete reports with the required information at any moment.